What's up, peeps? Welcome to City of Skylines 2. You might be thinking, oh my god, he got it, yay, after talking so much crap on Twitter. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, in my opinion, yeah, they should have waited. This game is not ready. But being from a, uh, let's just say this, guys, I come from playing DCS World, so I'm, <laughs> so um, trust me when I say this, I'm used to playing shit not ready. <laughs> Um, but still, Paradox, um, I know you guys are the developers, I know Colossal kind of had no choice in the matter, but Paradox, y'all need to stop doing this shit. This is a direct message to you, because y'all are going to go under like EA did. So, just throwing it out there. You guys got to stop with the early access crap, with the quick money grab, or if you're going to release it early, release it as a damn alpha, or an open beta. You know, put it out there, let the community give you their feedback on it, say, hey, you need to fix this and this and this and this, okay, postpone the release, fix that, that, and that, and that, and then say, okay, we fixed this and this and this, so it's like, okay, then release it, or release an updated version, you know? Alright, guys, I'm not actually starting a Let's Play on this, not yet anyway, <laughs> I am running on the uh, Xbox Game Pass version. I decided rather than buy the game, play two hours to try it out, I just paid the $1 for Xbox Game Pass and got 14 days. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of cheating the system a little bit there. Hey, but it's available, it's offered, so it ain't cheating. Right? <laughs> right. So the main purpose of this video, and from what I've been reading on the forums and Twitter and Reddit and just in the general comments on Steam, is the frame rate issue now you guys can't see my frame rate counter right now but I am letting you know that even though I'm in the menu I am hitting above 200 frames per second okay so I'm definitely hitting very high numbers here and in game I'm hitting about between 90 to 120 so but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through my settings now this may not work for everybody I'm not sure but it definitely worked for me when I changed these I went from 20 frames per second in the menu to over the menu to over 200 like I just said so it's definitely helping um, so obviously um, set your your screen to your native resolution you know I don't know about 4k I don't have a 4k monitor so I'm just playing at 2k right now so that's my native resolution, 2560, 1440 by 165. You know, obviously if you're playing on a 1080 monitor, set it for 1080. Uh, display mode is full screen windowed. V-Sync should be off for gamers, we all know that, but by default this shit is ticked on. Uh, game course removed, defined to window. Actually, let me go into the advanced here. So, okay, so uh, depth of field mode, I did put it to disabled. If you put it on, yeah, you do. It, yeah, it takes about like a 30 FPS hit. Tilt shift is even worse. So I'm actually down to about 150 frames right now. So disabled, gonna bump me right back up there to 200 plus. All right, I haven't touched any of this. This is all by default. Um, global graphics quality, custom. Dynamic scale resolution set. I set this to constant. If I turn it to automatic or disabled, I take a huge frame hit, like automatic and this, this puts me down to about 100 FPS. So definitely I would leave that at constant. Um, yeah, see if you check that box, that puts it on automatic and my frames just drop. So definitely leave that at a constant. Um, I haven't really messed around with these all that much. I pretty much left this as default. I really don't see a change. Um, yeah, no, no, no change on that. So now anti-aliasing, I set to custom. Uh, what was it? It was at uh, subpixel morphical AA. Left it on that anti-aliasing quality high. You know, again, if you need to um, change this down, you know, medium, it'll give you a little bit more frames, but it doesn't really affect too much. I did put mount it. My multi-sampling was at eighty. I'm sorry, at eight, which as you can see that changes that so we're actually I'm gonna run that at four that gives us about 20 more frames so when I put it to eight it dropped down to about 170 now it's back up to 195 200 
Uh, clouds quality, I set to medium. I left everything right here. Check, 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 check. Volumetric cloud shadows. I'm not sure how much of an impact that'll have on the game. Um, we'll go into it a little bit, and then I'll just I'll let you guys know what look kind of frames I'm running here. Um, I would imagine it when usually shadows don't have that much, so we'll we'll try it with it on. So fog quality settings are enabled. Volumetric graphics settings I have medium. Um, Ambient occlusion quality is medium. Global illumination quality is medium. Reflections quality medium. I might bump this up to high. I don't know if that'll take a huge hit or not. We'll see. I'll try it out in game and I'll just let you guys know. Uh, depth of field quality I left on high. Resolution full. Uh, motion blur medium. Shadow quality medium. Terrain quality settings high. And level of detail high. Everything else I left that high, trilinear filter moding, everything else is like that. So now let's go ahead and start up a game. Again, this is just for graphical purposes to help maybe help you guys out a little bit if it works for you. Uh, my system settings, I don't think I mentioned it. So I am running a um, 3070. I'm running a Ryzen, I mean, it's a 3078 gigabyte, so that actually could affect it a lot too, the, the VRAM on the card. So if you have a, but again, if you're running a 4080 or 4090 and you're still only getting like 30 FPS, maybe this might help you, aside from barbecuing your room. Um, so yeah, I'm running a 3070, uh, Ryzen 7 5800X at 4.6, uh, all core. I don't know if this game actually optimizes all the cores or not. Uh, 32 gigs of DDR4 at 3200. Uh, so yeah, you know, pretty pretty good mid, mid to high range system I've got for the most part. So we'll go ahead and select the map. Um, you know, just leave everything like that. We'll go ahead and start the game. Alrighty, so I am currently running at yeah, 95 to 105 right now. There's a little bit more detail on this map, obviously. Uh, if I zoom in more, you know, I get a little bit more frames, but at least this, and this is at 1440, so yeah, it's getting pretty good frames. So I'm not too, I mean, you could definitely see like from a distance, you could definitely see like the jagged edges and everything like that. Like it's just, it's, it's not smooth until you actually get in. So there's definitely some jaggedness. That's just probably due to the anti-aliasing. Now, let's see if I, let's see what happens if I actually turn the anti-aliasing up a bit. Let's see if I put it to 8x. How much frames do I lose? Okay, so I lost about, oh, not, actually I didn't really lose any frames. Lost about maybe like five or six. Actually, yeah, it's roughly about the same. It makes it look a little bit better, but it's still, yeah, it's still real, <laughs> it's still really jagged. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell, if you guys will be able to tell on the video, but it's definitely, it's definitely not smooth. Like, I have to really zoom in here to see the smooth lines. If not, it looks like a bunch of, like, just, yeah, it, it looks real bad. It, it's an eyesore. I mean, most, most of the stuff is, like I said, it's all graphical issues, so I'm hoping they'll release a hotfix for that within the next week or so, or at least within the, this month, you know. So that really didn't affect it all that much. Um, Minimum resolution per skin percentage scale. That was we bumped. Oh, okay, that took like a major hit and uh, no real change. Okay, so that dropped me actually down to 55 frames per second. So we're gonna put that back down to 50. Boom. Oh, because it enables dynamic screen resolution. Okay, so that is a big hitter. Uh, everything else. Let's see here. What if we? That's just global reflections quality, maybe 
set that on high. We're, we're just fine tuning it now at this point, trying to shadow quality. What if we put that to high? Okay, frame rate still really hasn't changed. Still in the still in the high 90s, low hundreds. Okay, so aside from aside from that, graphics wise, let's see. If we put that on high, what do we... Okay, we lose about five frames when that's on high. I mean, it, it, doesn't, matter, like, it doesn't really matter to me. How about ambient occasion quality? High? Okay, lost no... Nope, no frames lost there. Volumetric quality setting. What's this one? Again, not really too much improvements, but we're still we're still running at 100 plus frames, so that's still very good. When I first loaded it up, everybody, I, it was at like 40. So the fact is that I was able to gain about 60% or yeah, roughly about 60% FPS additional. Then I guess we must be doing I must be doing something right. <laughs> All right, so let's just go ahead and start dropping some. Those are one-way roads, aren't they? Wait, it's not really a good thing. Like... Oh, those are two-way roads. Four-lane road that allows traffic in both directions. Okay, so this is an avenue here. So let's just go ahead and extend off here. the more you build the more your frames are gonna go down like I'm dropping down to uh, roughly about I'm at about 90 still so we have lost some frames again oh yeah I got some stuttering I was gonna say keep in mind I haven't really been playing playing this okay we're at about 80 frames now which is still okay that's still doable. I mean, I could get more performance. I am running at 1440, so if I wanted to increase my graphics more, I could always lower it down to 1080 and just play at 1080 and just, for the most part, put everything on high. But so far, it's not looking too, too shabby. I gotta take a power line from right here. Can't do it like that. I'm still learning too. <laughs> okay, so why don't we just... on the road has power.
extracts water from underground deposits and delivers it to the city about water pipes. to connect that shit too? Really? Well, I guess people gotta get to work there. I'm guessing the same is gonna be for this one. you asked her, well, didn't you play the tutorials? Yes, but I didn't really... Like, I did, but I didn't. Besides, this isn't a tutorial, this this isn't a playthrough, this is just to see Okay, how the hell do I supposed to connect this damn thing? Access, no car access. Okay. Pedestrian street. What is it because of the trees? Do I seriously have to delete trees in this motherfucker? do a full test unless I have a working city. Three lane switch prone, one lane road, two lane road, three way load, gravel roads, alley. Why does it keep saying overlapping items? Pedestrian access. Okay, this game is. Four lane road. Three lane asymmetric. This is Second Moon with 
J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next selection, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate there. on the formal structure <laughs> of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dente section before entering the slower largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious anti-pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain and begin. All right. Now, let's see how this starts going under pressure. Okay, we got some objects being built here. Still at the mid 80s to high 90s. So, I am okay with that. I am really okay with that. It's just, they need to fix the... It, it looks like it's mostly just an anti-aliasing issue too. Like, they really need to fix the jagged lines here. So let's go, just go ahead and speed it up. is going to look the same and just be different colors. <laughs> oh, it actually sure does take a while to build, doesn't it? some stuff starting to populate and the game is starting to stutter yeah yeah see look they're all it's like same well almost same designs now let's see if i set it back down to 1080 if that'll I mean, I know my resolution is native 1440, but I seem to wonder if I, maybe if I condense it, if that'll, uh, no, not really. And we didn't even really gain much of a performance boost either. Still, still going between 80, so that doesn't really matter. Alright, so now we're, yeah, now we're in about the mid-70s, so, yeah, the more you populate it, the more, of course, the frame rate's going to go down, but we're still, like I said, going mid-70s to 80s now. We got some high demand for some commercial... Of course, if I zoom out. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm sure you guys could probably find ways that if you don't care about the cloud quality or something, you could probably lower that to say get yourself a few extra frames. But um, so far, so good. Been about almost going on 10 minutes, and we're we're bouncing between 75 and 90 FPS. Mostly it's staying between 75 and 80. But you know, if it could stay stable like this, it's just, this is why you're like, yeah, you go in close and you can get that good detail in. Oh, look, we unlocked it. Yay. <laughs> Got some XP. But yeah, like, see, and look how things are just, they don't even render in. You have to be close and the fences rendering in and everything so I mean look graphical you got signs being blurred out and stuff so yeah it's just little things like 
that. If they could get that, I think, honestly, they would have a really good... Really good stable platform. But, you know, so far, not too bad. I mean, thank God it's definitely not no 30 FPS or anything. Sorry, everybody. Had to take a phone call real quick. Uh, but, I mean, yeah. Oh, and there's the... We need more workers. Lack of labor. So... Oh, look. We can do medium density now. Oh, that's... That's neat. So, uh, that, that's pretty much it, everybody. Actually, I didn't say it's fun, but it's right about, I can't even tell how much time we're in now, but overall, not too bad. It's just the, uh, it's just the anti-aliasing, like, I'm really, that, that's really bugging me. At least that's fine. If it weren't for that, if it was smooth, I wouldn't care really about the fine details, but just all these jagged lines, it's like... If I want to see Jagged Lines, I'll go play DCS in VR. <laughs> but at any rate, I hope this uh, little guide helps out everybody uh, for the graphics. I found what works for me. I hope this might somewhat work for you too. And let's just enjoy this game and hopefully um, Colossal Order and Paradox release a fix soon. And we'll go from there. So with that being said everybody, hope you uh, enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one.